A high point man is now paralyzed. Investigators say a driver hit him while he was walking back to work after his lunch break. That driver appeared before a judge today. WXI 12 Joshua Davis was in court as well and caught up with the victim's family. Tonight he is outside the Guilford County Courthouse. Joshua, good evening. The sister of Zante Pittman says the news about her brother is devastating and right now she's angry, but she's stepping back to let the justice system go to work. And my heart was very shattered by the news that I received. 23 year old Ryan Duran Van Eaton appeared before a judge Monday. He's facing a felony hit and run charge for a collision which sent 52 year old Zante Pittman to the hospital. If convicted, he could be sentenced to two years in prison. At the time uh, on Saturday night, the defendant turned himself in. He stated to um, and law enforcement at that time that he believed that he had hit a deer, continued to drive. The pedestrian is currently paralyzed from the injuries. Pittman, a father of five and a grandfather, was rushed to Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center in Winston-Salem. His sister, Shamora Batts, tells me her brother has gone through surgery to repair damage to his spine. And due to fluid buildup in his lungs and difficulty breathing, he's not able to speak. But he is really trying his hardest. You know, I was able to get him to blink one for yes, two for no. And I asked him, was he okay? He was like, no, just, you hurt him? He's blink yes. I said, we love you. You have a lot of people that's loving you, showing you mad support, and he blinked his eyes, yeah. Bat says her focus is largely on her brother's recovery, but this entire ordeal has left her asking why. Even if you knew you didn't know what you hit, why didn't you stop to see what you hit? You know, that's, that's just the unanswered questions that we have. I mean, he could have died. Thank God he's not. He's alive. But, you know, it's just why. You know, it's going to be... A, a process, so we're just going to take it day by day, step by step. Van Eaton is being held on a $150,000 secured bond, and his next court date is expected to be February 15th. In Greensboro, I'm Joshua Davis for WXII 12 News.